Hello everybody, Onyx Eye here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back in the Nadi project and uh, in the last episode we had found all of the pieces to the torn note which is here on the wall that has the uh, safe code in it. I promised you we would open this safe in this episode and so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start that off here. So let's, uh, let's see what's in here. I have the code. Yes, we do. I can open it. Oh, that was loud. Okay. There's an axe in there. Wow, it's sharp. Well, good. I'm glad it's sharp. I wouldn't want a dull axe. Okay, so that's open. Now that means we can cut things down, I'm guessing. So let's head straight over here and see if we can turn, if we can clean this off some. I want to see if we can get this radio on. Power unit. I don't think it's going to tell us anything. Nope. Okay. Let's try to use the axe on it. No. Really can't do this. Okay. Well, I just dashed all my hopes and dreams because I was really hoping we could, uh, get this stuff out so that it would work so we can't do that what if we can cut down a tree or something I'm gonna try it out no We're going to cut down something. I wonder if we should cut. I'll cut one of these. Uh, we'll go around this way. Let's see if we can cut some of these logs up or something here oh we got a stick that'll do great as a handle okay so we have a handle and we got a stick well we got the stick and a rag we're gonna put them together haha uh -huh, we have an incomplete torch it looks like we're going in the cave today my friends well, if I go the right way first, I'm going to dip this in this tar. We are going to see what's in this cave. The run sound is a little bit annoying, I know, but it speeds up the movement. Okay. So let's dip our incomplete torch in the tar. Looks like a torch now. All right, good deal. Okay, so we have a torch. Does that mean we can light the torch now, or, or what? I don't know. We're gonna go to the cave though. I'm guessing maybe we already have a lighter or something, so we'll be able to light this torch gonna find out soon enough because we're going to the cave now look if I don't make it out tell my family I love them okay and if you don't make it out I'll do the same can we light this no okay all right well let's head into the uh, head into the cave then Oh, it's automatic. Oh, cutscene. Okay, maybe not a cutscene then. I wish this torch was a little bit brighter though. This isn't creepy at all, folks. Going into a cave we, we think may have had something to do with the little girl's death. Yeah, I'm not nervous at all. Can you die in this game? 
If you can die in this game, I'm sure I'll figure out a way to do it because I usually can figure that out. I die in games all the time. Best way to learn. Learn how to die so you can figure out how not to die. Okay, now it's starting to get a little... Barrel. Can't do anything with it though. Another barrel. It's so dark in here. Even with this torch, it's just not throwing off much light. Just hope this torch lasts for a while. Making sure I don't miss anything, so I'm hugging the edges. Look around. What? There's another grave in here. There's several in here, actually. My head still hurts. Oh, well, we unlocked another achievement. Another Steam achievement. Where am I now? What? What just happened? I guess we're hallucinating or something. Oh! Crap. Is that Anna? Anna, can you hear me? Okay, so that's her going in the cave, I guess. Oh, God, that scares me every time. A memory. So, seeing Anna when she goes in the cave. Okay, she looks like she's looking in some kind of box. That must be where she got the ruby from. Okay. Wind? Yeah, very loud wind, actually. Looks While well, those rocks are flying, they are floating in the air there. There's a pickaxe and some rubies. Oh. Well, we haven't tried to use the pickaxe on any rocks. Oh. Well, guys, I've enjoyed having y'all on the channel. If I don't make it, thank you. Some flying rocks and the pickaxe. Good lord. What is happening here? Oh. I need to continue. I think to be at the end of this memory. Am, am I controlling things? I don't know. It's, it's pitch dark. I don't have a torch. I don't even know if I'm controlling anything. I think I'm stuck. I'm using the forward movement key, but I don't know if I'm actually moving. I don't think I am. I think I might be stuck. Oh. Okay. Now I can see this. I guess I was standing on the edge and didn't realize it. Okay. This sounds like a horror movie where somebody's about to die. Oh, God. Oh. Anna. So that's how it went, Anna. Okay, so she didn't die in the cave. She died near some of those piles of logs. 
a note. The most docile body buried in the shadow protects from bad thoughts those who are still alive and await death by divine intervention. Okay. Brave. There's a name on it. Jack. Oh, that's Jack's grave. Whose is this? Is his parents? It's not letting us look at those. Only Jack's grave was important, apparently. Alright, so we did see Anna in that memory in the cave. Thing down in there? No. She was at this. There's a USB pen drive. Really strange. Okay. Well, hey, I wonder if that's the opening. How can such a thing be in this place? That may go into that um, into that slot to get into that building. Can't do anything with that book or this note from the looks of it. Alright, so that looks like that's all that's in here. I think we can get in that building now. We're gonna move a little fast because, you know, we're in this dark, spooky cave. Okay. Well, let's go see if this pen drive will fit. No, 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 no. First, let's go over here because it looked like Anna was this way with a pickaxe. I want to see if we can figure out where she died. Looks like it was over here, maybe. Because, you know, I don't learn from memories. I'm going to try to hit these rocks. Okay, you can't hit those rocks. Let's see if we can hit any of these. Nope. Can't hit any of those. Maybe we're not supposed to hit the rocks. I was just thinking maybe that's what that memory was trying to tell us is what I was thinking. But I don't think so. Okay. So we can't do that. No biggie. Alright, Anna. We're just wanting to find out what happened to you. See if I can get into this uh, into this building over here. Let's try using the uh, USB pen drive. That may be our way to get in. That fits. Oh, and the door is open. Alright, but I kind of want to take this pen drive because I don't want anybody to be able to Lock me in. Can't take it. Cue the creepy music. And there is not enough light in here. Well, I guess there's just enough light to make it creepy. Cause I'm, you hear that noise? I'm sure that's what they were going for was creepy. Wow. Okay. Oh, crowbar. I like that. Yep, this is mine. You're right, too. I like that idea. 
Let's hold this crowbar in case we gotta hit somebody with it. Well, we can't do that though, because then we'll hit the uh oh there's a fuse for sector one, so that's why it has power. Here's another ruby. Let's see what Anna has to tell us. This place is so creepy. <laughs> I'm with you there, Anna. It's dark and there are ghosts here. Ghosts. I saw one yesterday. I was inside with Dad when suddenly a very bright flash lightened up the whole room. Dad says not to worry because these things happen. But I believe there's someone else here with us. I hear his voice in the night. He said his name's Jack. Okay. Well, there's a broken fuse. There's a hatch. What's in here? Oh, a spare fuse. We're going to need that. We need to get power back on. This fuse is broken. We need to put it in here. It's an old power unit. It won't work without its fuse. Well, I have a fuse. Let's put it in there. Boom. We have power to the radio tower. Awesome. Power to the tower. And we unlocked another achievement. Sweet. All right. Let's get out of here. Thank God the door's still open. I wish this would open up though. You know this guy's got to be hungry, right? I mean, he drifted around for two days. He hasn't eaten or drink, drank anything. And he had a headache to begin with when he got on the airplane, so. All right, so is this working now? I don't know. Communication protocol of these objects is too complex. I cannot improvise. I need a note with the communication codes. Well, where are we going to find a note with communication codes? Huh. I don't know. Looks like we're going to have some more exploration to do. Because we're... Oh, the... Uh, the lighthouse, I bet. I bet it's the lighthouse. Alright, but um, that was interesting. We found out more about Anna's story and, and how she's tied in with these rubies so closely. So We managed to get, a, get in the safe. That was cool. And we got the radio tower powered up. Now we just need to figure out the codes. And I think on the next episode we're going to try this radio out and see what happens with it. Um, but it's, it's been cool. It's been a, a pretty interesting game so far. So be sure, if and uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure and hit that like button for me. It helps me out. It helps me uh, reach out to other folks that may enjoy the same kind of game play that you are. And uh, it'll help us build the community. And with that being said, I'd love for you to leave a comment down there because that helps build community as well. I get to know you a little better and you get to know me a little better. So leave me a comment let me know what's going on with you let me know what you think about this game and if you've played it or not just don't give any spoilers if if uh if you can avoid it because we don't want to ruin the game for anybody else so uh it was great having you i hope you enjoyed it i know i sure did and uh have a great day i'll see you guys on the next episode